Hey everybody, Steven here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to build an automatic chicken farm uh, modeled after the one that is currently in my Minecraft Let's Play series. So I'm going to start off by teaching you the basics of some of the mechanisms that are involved in the chicken farm. So first we have this hopper into a dispenser. This is a basic mechanic of the system and it's required to make it automatic. So how this works is you enter the hopper and any item that is dropped into the top of the hopper will be automatically collected and placed into it. Uh, as you can see it disappeared and it disappeared because the hopper is uh, directed into a storage unit of some kind, in this case the dispenser. So it goes straight from the hopper like this into the dispenser and this works well with chicken eggs because the chickens will lay their eggs right and it'll just automatically be collected by the by the hopper and placed into the dispenser so basically uh, one of the functions of which brings us to the next thing one of the functions of the comparator here which is another required element is that it can detect changes in the state of items that contain things such as dispensers so if I put an item in the dispenser see how the comparator lights up it can tell that there is an item inside the dispenser the more items that are placed into the dispenser the stronger the redstone signal gets so we'll replace that um, so basically this is a key mechanic of the process because it will indicate whether there's an egg in there so the egg will automatically transfer from the laid chicken into the dispenser here be checked by the comparator which will send a signal around in this kind of a circuit back into the dispenser which will cause it to fire out so we'll see that in action real quick see that the item enters automatically fired out what happens is the comparator shoots it into a redstone one one distance of redstone which is then repeated making the signal go all the way around uh, this is on an enough delay that it will circle around and just as the item enters here it gets shot out immediately so basically once an egg comes in through the top the uh, comparator will check that send a signal around and cause it to fire so let's just take a hopper here place it on top and fill it with arrows and it fires so rapidly that it will always take one at a time which will cause this thing to trigger if there's a delay on it it'll be too slow and it can it can cause it to get stuck but basically this is the fast for the fastest results that's the setup you're gonna want okay so let's build this on a larger scale. So first we're going to give ourselves some building room. Okay. And it's easier for me to start from the bottom up. So let's uh, pretend that this emerald block is a chest. And we're going to put a hopper going into it because we want our egg collection or a chicken drop collection to go into it. Now on top of this uh, dispenser, or hopper, you're going to put a half slab because hoppers can collect above half slabs as I can show you. Oops, I just dropped everything. Let's take some string. If we're standing on top of it. And it, co it collects it, so you'll see it, it's sitting in there. So basically, yeah, that, that's just to prove that it will collect the items. And so sitting on top of this, it needs to be enclosed because this is basically where the chickens are going to be killed. So we'll go ahead and enclose this area. And I like to use a glass block in the front here because it, uh, the glass block can, you can open chests underneath it, so we'll go into decorations, we'll grab a chest, oops, and we'll put a chest down just so I can show you. You can open chests if there's glass above it, plus it allows you to see if there's chickens inside. 
Now, the reason I put this dispenser here is as a killing option. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can put in a water bucket, and then let's decorate this up a little bit. And we're going to grab a button. Can be any button, it doesn't matter. And then, let's see, we have that like that. Give me one second. And we want our dispenser, our second one, to be right here. Now this dispenser is the one that's going to be firing the egg. So we'll take our hopper and we're going to place it on top. Right, and then we're going to build up these walls a little bit. Now this is your killing option. You can either set the trap to kill mode by placing the water block here and then of course placing a block on top of it. Um, or you can have it to egg farming mode. So basically chickens will be alive inside here and they can lay eggs or you can uh, you can replace this with a lava bucket to automatically burn them to death which can result in cooked chicken so you can skip that step. But I like to have the water out there because it it's a uh, like pretty much a hundred percent yield rate so this is where the chickens are gonna go or the uh, the eggs are gonna drop down so let's cover this up a little bit less intrusively or yeah we'll go like this that's all you need and then basically uh, the way chicken farms used to be in the past you'll notice on my let's play world there's a big trap above this that causes the chickens to flow towards the center to centralize the eggs but since 1.6.2 mobs no longer glitch through walls so we're just going to go ahead and grab a chicken egg a chicken spawning egg wherever they are chicken and we're basically just going to put tons of chickens in here and this is all you got to do, really. Uh, in a let's play world or a single player world, you can just throw your eggs in this corner and they'll grow up in there. This is just for an accelerated example. So basically those chickens are going to start laying eggs, which will immediately be dispensed. And that's the next part we're going to work on. We're going to go ahead and we're going to build a little platform behind us. like so and we'll put the redstone the repeater it's got to be facing it's got to go all the way around and you'll see why in a second because it needs to end up facing into the dispenser there so then we'll take our comparator and it will go there oh nope you gotta get it facing out of the dispenser into the thing so it will immediately fire and we have our killing option on and that's basically all there is to it this is about as compact as I can make it we'll just uh, clean this up a little bit so it's pretty small and it'll give you an endless supply of chickens. It'll work pretty much 100% of the time. And yeah, if you enjoyed this content, uh, keep an eye out for other how-tos. This is one of my favorite designs I've come up with. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed the content, check the other videos like I said, sub the channel, and I will see you guys next time.